I now come to have a look at the world and all across the world you will see boys like this or girls whether it's the Middle East there's children looking up to see where a bomb will fall and it's described as collateral damage or they're neutralised or some other jumbo that would have what countries say from Britain to Germany across the globe but when a bomb falls there is more there are innocent people that are always killed no sound and soon the bomb will fall and soon the bomb will fall again and soon the child will sleep and soon the child will sleep again and soon she will put her arms around her father and soon she will lay him in the ground and now the streams of agony from the child echo back no sound thank you oh god February of this year. So, I'm European. Tanks roll into the Ukraine. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, we're going to push the Russians out. No. Nothing. No, I've gone too far, sorry. That's right, okay. Wait. We'll go back. <coughs> I made a, I've made a mistake. I've jumped wars. <laughs> go back, Lily. Back. Okay. Sorry about that. Pace. Pace turned over too quickly. Okay, so this is a different war. This is the anniversary of the uh, First World War, the Hundred Years, in which. Uh, Men like this were sent to their slaughter across the Somme for no reason at all and also to Gallipoli which was an absolute disaster terrible thing to do murder Churchill murdered them people if you go to the point where the British are buried the Lancashire Regiment lost 1,000 people in a day because of what he did, because of what Churchill did, trying to invade this country. This could, the only good thing to come out of this was Mustafa Kemal, who is not well known in this world, and he should be, because he is, in my viewpoint, <laughs> one of the greatest leaders and inspirational figures I've ever known. But if this goes for Turkish people, it goes for English people in the First World War. And I imagine a couple. The path becomes slower. The orders become louder. The constant dim of shattering shells. The pots and pans being washed and put away by you. My mind becomes slower. The generals clearly don't know what to do. I have a bullet turking away from my friend's arm as if I am holding you. My sleep has become numb. The path to the other side has become shorter, like the one I used to rush when I used to meet you. But now you hold a letter in your hand from me. But it's not from me. It just ends with the words, please hold him in eternity. Thank you. Okay, so we are now back to the hell zone. So it was basically February, and I'm a European, and it looked as if we had like 1939 on our doorsteps, and nothing seemed to be happening. The sirens are ringing out. Did I wake up to 1939? 
Bits of paper waved in the air as a bomb rips through a house. We'll hit them in their bank account, says Biden. But no statements can save a child's life. The sirens ringing out, wailing across a scare. A mother in Donetsk, a sister in Odessa, a cold chill running down her spine. It's hopeless, it's happening again. The sirens are ringing and it's not 1939, it's now. And from the West, a big fat crowd of nothing. Thank you. So it affected me. Maybe I'm European, maybe when you have, where well, Turkey is situated, when you have situations with Azerbaijan or something, you know, sort of really on your doorstep. And I started to look around where I lived. I lived in the same sort of houses, types of houses that you get in places like uh, Mariupol. And basically, uh, I started to contact different people and see what was going on there. and became quite concerned about what was happening. And then I was devastated. Because that could be your streets. Look at the, I mean, look at the you know? By the fate of God, that's not you. In the silence from Maripol. The cars outside my window rumble to and from places without a care in the world. The children scream out Mehmet's name to come out to play. And when he does, their little faces, they light up. In Mariupol, there was just silence. A bird sarcastically chirps, a dog sniffs round, but there's nothing to eat. The rumble of tanks has gone, the screams have died down, rockets lighting up the sky have faded, leaving no one, just bullet holes, ripped through a playground. Thank you. The last bit is, uh, the last bit is true. The image of uh, children's playground. And uh, there is one bastard. <coughs> With blood on his hands. He killed him. <sighs> but, you know, he will pay for this, and when he goes to hell, because he's certainly not going to hell, he's not my fucking God. On victory day, knee deep in blood, the arms and the limbs of the dead climb up you in day and night terrors, murdered by you, mothers, fathers, lovers, sisters, brothers, children and babies, all murdered by you. Your final solution, like the Jews in the ghetto, all must go. But on your deathbed, your God whispers, Listen, beauty, I've had enough of you. And then you will see the Ukrainian flag flying high, and there's nothing you can do. Slava Ukraine, Slava Ukraine, thank you. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, so... <coughs> when you stop telling the truth that's in your heart, the truth in you are already dead. 
He tried to kill Salman Rushdie. This is for Salman Rushdie. Bless you, my friend. There are no words. Because words can lead to death. If I let my pen run freely, I will be the next. And you will be the next. Until the door is closed. And the audience has left. Thank you.